<laughs> Welcome to FM Live. My name is Mike. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Mega Chips ND chip guards. So if you haven't heard of these, um, that's because they're new. We actually just started carrying these recently. And essentially what they are, are very smartly designed guards or spats sometimes called for your ND Miata. These are specific to the ND, so we're going to be talking about ND fitment here the whole video. So um, in a nutshell, for these guys, um, I'm going to show you how they work, what you do to get them installed, why we have a few different variants here in front of me, and I'll cover some questions about them in general. If you do have questions about them that we aren't covering already or just you know, you want to know something that I haven't talked about, be sure to drop a comment down below because we'd love to see those and try to get them answered during the video. So in general, what the heck is a chip guard? Well, some people might call them spats, some people might call them mud guards. Um, they aren't really necessarily designed to stop you from flinging mud all over the car uh, because if you're driving your Miata through the mud, then uh, you probably don't care as much about that, I suppose. Most of the time, people that are going to be using these are going to be driving these on regular public streets, um, or even you could use this actually on racetracks and still have good effect because the major benefit of these guys is that one, they're designed specifically for the ND, but two, they actually help keep um, cars, like if you, I would assume, mostly modified here, um, that you have big, wide, sticky tires installed on your car, or actually maybe I can think of another purpose that I would use this for if you were driving your Miata through the winter and you've got some winter tires that have deep tread on them. But either way, you might be picking up rocks with your tires, whether they're big, wide, sticky track tires or you know something like a winter tire that's got a lot of tread that can pick up rocks, and it'll chuck it backwards and that will end up usually scratching, dinging, or otherwise damaging your paint right behind your wheel wells. And this will help you protect your car, your nice pristine paint from that happening. So this is something that obviously it's not a must have, but it's a very nice to have thing. Um, we were approached by Omega Chips, the company that makes these on whether we would like to carry these or not. And at first we were a little bit skeptical, um, to be honest. But then after we started looking into it, we realized that actually these are very innovative. They make a really good argument for a lot of just nice to have usability for day-to-day -day driving. But they are also, believe it or not, CFD tested. So yes, these have actually gone through testing for computational fluid dynamics to make sure that they are a good improvement, one for protection, but also that they're not introducing a bunch of drag or anything like that that you wouldn't want. We'll talk about that more in just a little bit. So um, now that we know what they're about, what are they made out of? What is, what is the design differences? Let's talk about some of the specifics of the parts here in front of me. So I actually have two kits and these two kits look a little bit, actually a lot similar at first glance, but there are some differences. I will start off by saying that these two pieces, or two sets right here, these are for the fronts, and they are the same between both kits, but the difference that we have here is mostly in the rears. Um, and these guys, actually there is a little bit of difference in the fronts too, and I'll talk about that in a second, but essentially there's a standard version, which is here on my left, your right, and then an extended version. Basically, the standard version is that if you have an ND that has no extra frills for like the body kit or the um, appearance package that came on some of the club or optioned cars that you can also special order if you want. We'll see that in a second. And then we have the extended version and that extended version is specifically for those cars that have that appearance package. So just for a little bit more obvious detailed difference, you can see here this is the standard version versus the extended version. And yeah, they are actually, I'll hold the tops at the same level. You can see that there is a slight difference that extended means, yes, it is longer. But these do have a better fit specifically for the appearance package or without the appearance package for that reason. And the other thing that makes them different to the front is that these pieces are the same, but because of the appearance package in the front, we also include some longer push pins because you have to go through more layers of plastic. Now, these guys, you probably have noticed that they have some holes, some slots in them. That's because 
in the wheel liners in the front, you actually use the factory push pins, plus this if you have an extended version, to attach these to the wheel well, the, uh, the liners themselves. So this is a very easy, just take your push pins out, fit this up, and then you use push pins to hold it in place. Super, super easy install. And then you can also see that because, um, say this top point up here, this is basically the pivot point, that's just a hole. But once that is in place, you actually have a little bit of adjustability because these are slotted at the bottom. So you can actually tailor this to fit your specific car or, you know, go maximum protection, stick it all the way out. Or if you like it a little bit tucked, then you can have it pulled back in a little bit. So there is adjustability built in, which is great. Um, the other other thing for the rears specifically, because the rears themselves don't have the same kind of attachment points where you can use push pins, the plastic push pins from the factory, they actually come with some 3M double-sided adhesive tape. It's already applied. You don't have to worry about lining it up on these pieces. It's already perfect for what you're going to do. So you peel off your red plastic cover and then they're ready to go on. But before you do that, let's see, included, make sure I'm looking at the right ones here. Yeah, included, we've got some alcohol prep pads and then some adhesion promoter. So these are included with both kits and this is used for the rear because of those 3M sticky tape. Uh, you will clean it up first. And if your car is especially dirty like ours because you drive it in the winter and you know, that's just how it happens, that's okay. You might give it a little bit of a wash first with soap and water, but then follow it up with the alcohol prep pads, give it a nice scrub, and then use the ad adhesion promoter because that really helps the 3M double-sided adhesive tape stick basically permanently. Now, it's not gonna damage the wheel wells of your car or anything like that. It's, it's still a high quality 3M tape. It will come off if you want it to, usually a heat gun and a little bit of just careful prying. But generally speaking, once you get this on there, line it up, and you've done all your prep, you stick it on there, and it's pretty much on there for good. Um, we have had this on actually Travis's car, which I'm sure he will be very happy to show off since it's nice and clean and shiny today. We've had these on his car for two years, um, and Travis washes his car pretty much religiously. So these see, of course, outside, you know, the car's driven, uh, sees UV, it sees lots and lots and lots of hand washing. So they've been on there for about two years and he has washed them, you know, contacted them, used them, driven the car, all that this whole time. And he's never had to reapply the 3M double-sided stick tape. He's never had to readjust. They just bolt on and go. It's a really, really convenient and kind of factory plus look in my opinion. So um, that being said, now that we've kind of shown off the car, let's look at them in situ because that's always good to see what do these on the table actually look like in practice. From behind here, you can see on both of these cars, on the fronts, they do stick out and they're about equal or level with the edge of the tire. This obviously depends on what tires and what offset wheels you're using. Um, on Andy right now, we've got some 17 by nines. These are our Kogekis. And I think we have, what, 235 series tires. So still a very good fit for stock fenders. You know, we're not running anything dramatically crazy here. But you can see that this does a great job of protecting the side of the chassis here where normally it starts to dip down and that would normally be very exposed to any rocks that are getting thrown up from the bottom of the tires. Andy also does have the factory appearance package. So given that with this front one, it doesn't look any different from the other one, but we have those extended clips to hold it there in the front because there is a bit more of that plastic that has to go between. And then of course here I'm holding it. These things are flexible. They are made of a rubber-based material, which I will add is a material that is one sourced here in the US and also Mega Chips cuts these, designs these, and does all of the processing here in the US as well. So this is a very patriotic product, which we are happy to carry. It's always a good thing when we can do that. But they're very flexible, easy to handle. You can bump them, kick them. Uh, they're not gonna get hurt. The other good thing about them is that because they're rubber-based, just like tires, you can actually use tire shine on these Mega Chips guards. So over time, if they start to look a little bit dry, a little bit gray rather than black, 
you can put tire shine on them just like you do your tires and they look brand new all over again. So super, super easy to take care of too, really convenient. So on this one, um, let's look over here at Travis's car and you can see, actually here, I might uh, shine a little bit extra light on there. Let's see if I can dim that down, there we go. So he has an aftermarket side uh, skirt kit on this car and it's basically flush with the factory bodywork. So this is using the standard kit, not the extended kit, and it does bolt in just fine. Had to um, kind of get it worked into place though, because this does uh, maybe poke out just a little bit forward, but this is the extended or uh, the standard kit. So it does bolt up if you've got, uh, I think these are carbon Miata side skirts, if I recall, yeah. So, but they look the same. They are the exact same piece here, nothing different. Let's move on to the backs here. So the rears, we've got, let's look at Andy's first since Andy has the appearance package. Actually, we can probably see that okay. The appearance package here, you can see that the contour of these extended chip guards, actually, they match up with that factory appearance package just beautifully. Um, on this particular car, with both the rears and the fronts, we do have these pulled all the way out for maximum coverage. Um, one, because we are running wider wheels and tires than factory, but also two, I think it just kind of fits. It looks really nice. The lines match up perfectly back here. And you can see these little factory plastic guys that are here on all the Indies. It just butts up right up in, uh, against it, just underneath it. So it's a really, really easy thing for alignment back here. And again, rubber, flexible, really easy to live with every day. So moving over here to Travis's car, his does not have that appearance package on the back. So this one, um, these are actually a version one. What we're currently selling are version two, but they look almost identical. But the points as far as like where the bottoms are, you know, point to point here is pretty much the same. But you can see here that this actually has a slightly different profile from what Andy has because it's aiming more for down towards the bottom of this bumper cover rather than matching up with the lines here on the appearance package. You could install the extended um, chip guards for the rear on a car that doesn't have the appearance package. There's nothing against that. Actually, let me show you what it looks like since I have them here. Since they're longer, they're just gonna hang down a little bit further than they otherwise would. So just for point of comparison, this is the extended one. That's how much further it hangs down compared to the standard length one here. So if you thought that maybe you're gonna get the appearance package later on, you can get the extended chip guards now. They just hang down a little bit further. Or maybe uh, you like that kind of rally mud flap kind of look, because it kind of does do that a little bit actually <laughs> without the appearance package. So, but that's it in a nutshell as far as on the car, how they fit, super tidy. Um, I think that it took us maybe 10 minutes or so to get them installed on Andy, which we did on Wednesday. That way we could have another set of them to show off. So if you, your car is really dirty, maybe you'll have to spend a few extra minutes cleaning it, but otherwise 10 minutes of a little bit of clean prep and then applying the pads or using the pins, that's it. Um, those little pins, if you have a flathead screwdriver or like a little trim pry tool, those work perfectly. That's pretty much the only tool that you need to be able to install these. So very straightforward. One of the questions we got in advance was, what is it like to live with these every day? I've kind of already waxed poetic about that a little bit, but essentially once you have them on the car, it's a relatively transparent mod. You don't really notice them being on, except for that now the sides of your car doesn't get dirty. It doesn't get chipped with you know rocks being thrown up at it. Um, one of my pet peeves is driving a car daily, which is fine. I love daily driving my Miata, but if it's a little bit wet, if it's been, um, you know, a little bit yucky the past few days, you know, we've had snow or anything like that, even if it's not damaging, it still will throw up yuck on the side of your car because it's exposed on that, uh, bottom corner where it kind of wraps in behind the tire. These pretty much take that away. So your car just looks cleaner, longer. And of course it's protecting it from chips and damage from rocks that get kicked up. So otherwise driving around, 
you don't really notice it. You know, you don't hear them. They're, again, they're CFD tested, so they don't cause a whole bunch of drag or a whole bunch of buffeting or anything like that that would cause issues that you would notice or that would, you know, detract from driving the car otherwise. So everyday driving, great transparent mod, love it. Um, oh, the other big question that we got quite a bit was, are these going to be available for anything other than the ND? At the moment, no. However, if this kind of thing is interesting or um, you would like this to be for the other generations, let us know. Please, please drop us comments below. Personally, I would love to have this for my NC Miata, so um, I'm a big fan of that. But if you would, you think these are cool and you want them for NAs, NBs, NCs, whatever, drop us comments down below because that's really the only, one, the only way that we'll be able to show mega chips that, hey, we have customers that are interested in this for other generations. And maybe that means that they'll make kits for the earlier generations too. We'll see. As of right now, these are strictly for NDs. Um, we have not tested them on the Fiat 124s. So unfortunately, I don't know if that will fit. Um, there's a, at least a little bit of a likelihood that they will, but I can't confirm or deny that they'll fit the 124s. Sorry. Um, if you would like to give it a try, Send us some pictures after you have them on the car and let us know what you find out. <laughs> okay, so actually I think that that's everything. I've already talked about the other ones. So any other questions that have popped up? No, okay. They're pretty straightforward. There's not a whole bunch else about these guys. They're very easy, very simple. Uh, they work great. Again, they're a transparent modification. I highly recommend them. It just improves the daily quality life of driving a car and not having to worry about the sides getting chipped or dirty all the time. So we really like them. Um, we will of course link both of these versions in a link down in the comments below. So that way you can have an easy access to see them if you wanna check them out on our website. Um, also, of course, if you have more questions about this, if you're watching this in on YouTube rather than live, then you can give us a call, send us an email. Uh, we also have Facebook and all that kind of other kind of stuff that you can contact us to answer questions. And then um, we'd be happy to talk to you about whatever it is that you need help with on these chip cards. So I guess that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you like these kinds of videos, be sure to like and subscribe. So that way next time we do another video, you'll get a notification. And of course we can keep making videos like this. And as always, if you have suggestions on what other kind of topics you'd like us to talk about, also drop those down in the comments below because we love hearing from you. Thank you so much for contributing. And of course, we wanna talk about the stuff that you wanna hear about. So drop it down below. We'd love to hear your suggestions. And of course, as always, thank you so much. We appreciate it and we will catch you next time.